gun pointed my grill. Shit was too damn real. I'll keep it short though. Tell you all the details. Every single detail. Yeah. This is how it happened. Was walking to my home, high as fuck, off that green. My sense is so damn keen. I walk in my crib, feeling good on the scene. Slowed off that purple beam, ready to wrap it, feeling mean. Got it not at the door, so I ask who's at the door. A gangster ass nigga yelling, open up right now. So as I opened up, look in the fucking hall. He's asking, where's his green? I'm lost as fuck, but I ain't a stupid fiend. No, I didn't take his stash, and I ain't about the trash. He insisted that it took it from the place that he left it. So he left, and I waited, and so quickly he returned from thing. Pointed at my face, and as my father pushed me out, and quickly locked the door. I stared down the barrel, asked myself what more. But I wasn't even scared, nor did I have any fear. Waited with my serious stare, asked myself, will I truly die here? Yeah, that was the first time. Let me tell you about another time. This time I was chilling with a friend. I'll give you the details. Some real shit. Remember chilling back in 2012 with my nigga John. Smoking butt in the alley, heading back to his home. Chilling, bumping old school raps. John gets a call. He heads down the hall, out the door, out his home. Tones are pointed at his dome. Revolver in the chrome. Two niggas come and strapped, and now it's a home invasion. They're taking all his cash, no time for persuasion. And yes, the guns are drawn, and I ain't said a word. They look towards my way, and the master on their face. I did not know what to say. I did not make a move. The price I did not want to pay. Could have died on that day. I never did. I take the time to pray.